Okay. I'll spend an initializer list. Okay, I didn't even get to ask the question and he got it right. Let me just run to the bathroom quick. Tell Chad a bit about you. Uh, I do C++. I've been doing it for like the past five years. Um, I have no job. I've never had a programming job. I'm straight out the trenches. Tr I'm trying to get into high performance computing and or quant. My strengths are um, low level programming. Okay, I'm back. All right. All right. Okay. So, uh, what language are you most familiar with? Plus plus easily. Easily, easily. Okay. Uh, Mo chat. Mostly because I haven't done anything else. Chat. What difficulty do we want to start him off? I'm gonna start you off at medium. All right. Okay. Observe the code snippet below. What's the output? And you have to close chat, by the way. Just look at my screen. Oh. I'm on. I'm on my phone. Okay, I can't cool. see chat. Okay. Uh, cool. Honestly, they probably give wrong answers anyway. Uh, the character three. Three. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay, you're right. This is the same as uh, this, which is identical to this, which is identical to a more familiar syntax of this. Mm, how mean do we want to be? Okay, let's do this one. This is a premium level question. Hey, I'll spend an initializer list. Okay, I didn't even get to ask the question, and he got it right. Okay, we have a, we have a confident dev. We have a confident dev, okay. So that's two out of 10. Oh. You get 10 out of 10, you get one year membership for free. I forgot to say something to chat about myself. Okay. Um, I, while being a C++ programmer, I've been watching CppCon for the last five years as well. Oh, okay. So we can really turn it up on this guy. Observe the code snippet below. Why is an immediately invocable Lambda being used? Uh, Just take your time. Oh, no, that's fine. You could... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it out. I'm going to read the answers out, okay? Just for, for okay. so chat. It improves runtime performance by ensuring that the Lambda executes every time name is accessed. It makes, the, it makes ID immutable inside the Lambda, allowing it to be changed dynamically. It is unnecessary because you can't initialize a const... It is necessary because you can't initialize a const variable with a switch statement, or it is necessary because C++ does not allow switch statements inside normal functions. Um, okay, this time I'll bring you through my thought process. Uh, I've actually used const uh, member or local variables before in order to uh, open files the first time you call the function. Uh, so I'm, I'm very familiar with const variable is equal to an immediately invoked Lambda. Uh, okay. So the last one is necessary because C++ does not allow switch statements inside normal functions is ridiculous. Uh, you can use it in pretty much everywhere. Uh, necessary because you can't initialize a const variable with a switch statement would make sense because as the declaration line that the variable exists on is the only line that can modify the const uh, value. Unless, of course, it was like the previous example, like the class, uh, whether you're in these. Okay, uh, so, okay. So I do want to go with that one, but improves runtime performance by ensuring the Lambda executes every time it's accessed. Uh, that, not really. No, I mean, it's const, I guess. And it makes ID mutable inside a Lambda, which is completely irrelevant to this case. Uh, so I would go with the third answer. Third answer, he's locked in. He is correct. You can't initialize a const variable with a switch statement. Using an immediately invocable Lambda is a workaround. Okay, okay. He's moving his way up the ranks. We're working him up. So, okay, he's, he's warming up, he's warming up. Observe the code snippet below. What type is X? In. Cracked out. In C++, when you perform arithmetic operations involving char types, such as adding two char variables, the char values are promoted to in due to the rules of integer promotion. This is a fundamental aspect of how C++ handles arith arithmetic operations on smaller integer types. Okay. So let's, um, let's see here. I want to start moving into the, the red zone. Should we give him a quant? Okay. Let's see this one. Okay. Templates and Observe the templated code snippet below. 
it takes its parameter by copy. You want to pass this you want to pass an argument to this function by reference. Can you do that? Um dang, templates is like the one area I have not actually looked into because it's not really necessary for embedded unless I'm generalizing stuff. So this is like a coin flip. Uh, I want to say no, but I'm trying to remember. Scott Myers said auto is different than templates, but I don't remember exactly what he said. Uh, you want to pass the argument to this function by reference, can you do that? I'm just going to say no, because auto can deduce by reference, and every time I use it with a uh, vector uh, square bracket operator, it, oh no, it assumes copy with auto. Dang, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna, because I did this in, in previous attempts, you have one lifeline where you can a ask chat. Oh, that's not that good. Do you have one, you have one attempt to ask chat? Would you like to use it in this case? Uh, I guess I have to. Okay, you can now open chat and you can take a look. And they might be giving you the wrong answers too, by the way, just so you know. Oh yeah, All right. yeah, I, I know that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. So, oh, Tim could ask why C++? Because C makes you do everything. Bro, you're like, uh, you have, you're about to get pushed off the edge and you're asking some, answering some random dude's question. Just let's focus on the yeah, question. But no one is um, helping. Guys, help him, help him. He's saying nobody's helping. <laughs> I don't think any of them use templates either. Oh, okay. My chat was just, uh, okay. My chat was, uh, out of sync for some reason. Okay. It's back. You can do anything and see what the great. Um, yeah. GPT says no? Wow. It's no. You, can pa you can't pass by ref. I guess I'm going to have to say no. Because, well, G GPT said it, not the chat. So I believe that more the chat. What if he's lying? Oh. Um, people usually don't lie about talking to AI bots, right? I don't know. Maybe, maybe they, that's what they think. And that's why they're saying it. That's what, that's what they think that you think. And that's why they're saying it. That's true. Oh, damn. Oh, I'm just going to say no. Cause I, I, yeah, no, I have nothing else. No. Oh, no.